Chapter 13 Intro to Inner Confidence Some often repeated dating advice is just be yourself. This is true in a sense, but if you don't know who you actually are, or you aren't currently living up to your potential, just be yourself becomes a useless platitude. Being yourself only works when you actually know your identity and have developed yourself enough to value who you are. It only works when you're living up to your God-given potential, not squandering life, but rather giving it your best shot. This doesn't mean you have to look like a supermodel, be as funny as Dave Chappelle, or have the riches of Elon Musk. It simply means that you have to be comfortable with the person God made you to be. That you have developed some virtue, or are working towards it, and that you have your life together enough that you actually have something to offer other people. If you are unsure of your identity, are an angry, greedy person, and all you do is play video games all day, you probably aren't going to attract anyone. And even if you could, you probably shouldn't. Love is about doing what's good for other people. And if you don't have your own life together, or aren't at least working to improve it, you won't be able to do what is good for other people. You can't give what you don't have. So how do you figure out your identity and develop the type of confidence that will make you attractive? That's what I'm going to write about next. Who are you? You might be getting sick of me saying this, but I'm going to say it again. You are a unique, unrepeatable person with dignity and value. I keep repeating it because it's the number one most important thing you need to understand. I'm not just telling this to you because I think it will make you feel good. I actually mean it. Every person that exists is made in the image and likeness of God. Whether they live in a way that reflects that or not is going to vary, but regardless, it is still the truth. You have inherent and inexpressible value that cannot be taken away from you. No matter what you've done, no matter who you think you are, your value as a human exists. It isn't dependent on your finances. It isn't dependent on your looks. It isn't dependent on how many friends you have. In God's eyes, you are a treasure. You are valuable and worthy of love. You have a unique gift that no one else possesses. This doesn't mean that everyone else is going to see that gift in you, or that you will even see it in yourself, but nevertheless, it's there. It's up to you whether you share it or not. In order to do that, you have to realize the gift is there, and then treat yourself in a manner worthy of that gift. Again, this is one of the reasons why it is so important for you to understand this truth. If you don't believe you have value, you won't act like you have value, and no one will respect you, including yourself. In fact, it will likely serve to further decrease your view of yourself and create a vicious cycle where you think poorly of yourself, which causes others to treat you poorly, which in turn causes you to think even more poorly of yourself. If you want to become more attractive, that is not what you want. People are attracted to things that have value. When someone is confident about themselves, others tend to believe they have more value. This can create the opposite of the negative feedback loop I just mentioned. In this virtuous cycle, you view yourself as someone valuable, which causes others to treat you respectfully, which causes you to gain even more confidence. Now, I realize that just telling you that you are valuable probably isn't going to make you believe it, but I'm going to do my best to help you get to that point. Part of the reason I keep reminding you of your value is because repeating it will hopefully bring this truth to mind more often. This is especially important because society is constantly barraging you with voices that tell you that you are worthless, or that you are only valuable for your body, money, intelligence, 
or whatever other trait they want to emphasize to sell you something. Marketers understand the power of planting ideas in your mind. The more you hear something, the more likely you are to believe it. So like it or not, I'm going to keep reminding you that you are a unique, unrepeatable person with dignity and value. Unfortunately, just hearing that a bunch of times isn't the only thing that needs to happen for you to become truly confident. Even if I told you that you're valuable 77,000 times throughout this book, it wouldn't get you where you need to be to become attractive and successful in relationships. I wish it were that easy, but anything worthwhile takes effort. There's a lot more you're going to have to do to build the kind of confidence that will be unshakable. But I will do my best to help you get there, because I know it is well worth it. Have you ever felt like you just don't fit in? Like there isn't a particular group you belong to? Maybe you feel like you can't quite be yourself with other people and you have to kind of fake it in order to get people to like you. If that's the case, then I'd highly suggest reading my book, Dear 20 Year Old Me, Everything I Wish I Knew About Relationships at Your Age. Now, you don't have to be 20 years old to read it. I just named it that because at 20 years old was about the time in my life where I was the most confused about my identity and what healthy relationships actually look like. Now you can go get this book on my website, www.movingamountain.com slash books. You can order a paperback copy. And I put a lot of work into this, so I do hope to make some money off of it. But I also realize not everyone can afford it right now. So I also made the ebook version available for free. You can literally just go click a button and download it. No strings attached. You don't even have to enter your email. I want to make this available to anyone who needs it so that it truly starts to help people.